Hello and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. I'm sure you'll agree that the Nether Portal itself isn't the most prettiest thing in Minecraft, but that is why I've built this, a flush to the wall hidden Nether Portal. So all you have to do is flick this lever, as you can see the wall drops back and the Nether Portal ignites, and then to close, it's that simple. Just a quick word of warning, if you are building this in survival, make sure that your nether portal leads to somewhere safe. Don't spawn on top of a lava lake or something like that. But actually, really, what is safe in the nether? Now that terrifying ordeal is over, let's see what we need for this fantastic build. You will need 4 sticky pistons, 2 regular pistons, 11 obsidian, 10 of which are for the door, so if you have already the nether portal in place, you only need 1, 3 redstone torches, 5 redstone repeaters, 1 comparator, 1 dropper, 1 hopper, 2 observers, 1 lever, 4 slime blocks, 2 dispensers, 9 redstone dust, 1 water bucket, 1 flint and steel, 18 blocks for the redstone to go on, and 16 wall blocks. To get started, first place the blocks in which you need for your nether portal. Now we're going to place the pistons in first, so come to the bottom block, come out 2. Place 2 sticky pistons facing upward, with wall blocks on their faces. Now you can actually place the floor in now to make it easier as a reference. Now place a block here and one here and make a little square. Then a, a square of slime blocks and then two pistons facing toward those like that. Place a block underneath the piston with a regular one facing inward and one next to it and remove that block. So this is what you should have so far. The next thing you want to do is put two dispensers facing this way. Then place a block here, one underneath and another one. Now place an observer facing upward. Remove that block. Actually place that block back and place one underneath, sorry. Then place a comparator facing toward the front of the uh, nether portal. Two blocks out, a dropper, hopper, any old block in the dropper, a block on top, place your lever here, block here, another one, one out, and we want it on six ticks going into that block, so four and two, place a block underneath and another one, block here, block here, one up like that. Three ticks, four ticks, uh, redstone dust, whoopsie, two blocks here, redstone dust on both of them. So this is what you should have so far. Next what you want to do is place an observer facing upward of this repeater here, like so, and place a block on top. Then place a torch here. A block, a torch, a piece of obsidian, redstone dust here. Then place three blocks facing this way, redstone dust here, redstone dust here, repeater sets the two ticks facing this way, a torch here, a block here, and redstone dust on all three. And surprisingly you're done, so all you need to do is fill in these dispensers. Just realised I've done a schoolboy error. Remove these two blocks and place two sticky pistons here. Take out them there and place them here. So they should be level with the floor. So we place a water bucket in the right dispenser and the flint and steel in the left one. Then we can place blocks all around here to make sure it's all covered up. And now let's give it a quick test. So flick the lever. 
and click the lever again. And just make sure it turns it off. Click it again. All done. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video or like my design, please leave me a like. If you really liked it, obviously, please subscribe for more awesome content. And I'll see you all later. Bye.